Hello for today. Ang pag-uusapan natin is about the cues. Ano nga ba to cues? Ang cues, uh, syempre data structure din siya. It is a type of container adapters um, that uh, follows the PIPO principle. Kung sa stack, meron tayong tinatawag na LIFO, last in first out. Dito naman FIFO, first in first out. Kung sino yung, kung sino yung unang pumasok, siya rin yung unang lalabas. In real life, madali siyang um, maihalin, maihalin tulad kapag sa grocery. Kung sino yung unang nakapila sa cashier, syempre, siya rin yung unang lalabas. Okay? Um, okay. Cues allow data to be added at one end. Nagdadagdag tayo. Nagpupush tayo at one end. And nagdi-delete tayo at the other end, okay? And to be able to use the standard template queues, we use the um, hashtag include queue sa header files na C++, okay? And here's the common function that we use. Empty function, it returns whether the queue is empty. Size, it returns whether the uh, returns the size of the queues. Push, uh, when adding, pop, when deleting, print, referring to the first element of the queues, and back, referring to the last element of the queues, okay? So, let's proceed to the coding session, okay? Simulan na natin yung programming. Una sa lahat, uh, mag include tayo na special library ng C++ for Q. So, include Q. And then, mag-declare tayo ng variable na may data type na Q integer. So, let's say, ang variable natin ay my number. And then, uh, Q integer. And then, let's say, magpupush tayo na ang my number dot push 100 and copy natin copy paste 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 200 uh, push 300 push 400 and then let mag print out tayo na laman ng cube print all number inside the queue okay. and then gagawa ko ng function for that my number and then call natin void show queue integer ng my number okay. while um, my number dot empty m Habang hindi pa siya empty, yan. I gagawin niya tong statement na to. Print out. Um, let's say may top. My number dot front and then my number dot pop. So, ano ibig sabihin niyan? Pag ba nag-print tayo dito ng 100, mapapap niya ba yan? Hindi. Bale, ang gagawin kasi natin, ito. Dito natin ito. Let's say, nag-push tayo ng 100, ng 200, 
ng 300 ng 400 and then let's say ipiprint natin yung fund ano ba yung fund dito 100 and yung back natin is 400 sabi nga natin pag sa queue first in first out kung sino yung unang pumasok siya yung unang nalabas unlike sa stock na kung sino yung huling pumasok siya yung unang nalabas okay so first in first out so ang front natin dito is 100 so print natin print and then magdi-delete tayo pop delete natin yung front 100 okay empty na ba yung queue natin hindi pa that's why ulitin natin to print to 100 and then pop to 100 print 300 pop 300 print 400 pop 400 so empty na ba siya empty na that's why hindi na niya masasatisfy itong condition na to that's why i-terminate niya and then lagay tayo ng um end line for second um statement okay Now, para makita natin yung ano, result. So, i-debug natin. Start debugging. Yes. So, but may di dito? Ah, yung tab. Okay. Pala. Ayan. Start without debugging. Ayan. Print all number. Na-print natin yung laman ng queue which is 100, 200, 300, 400. Okay? And then, i-apply natin yung ibang function nito. So, see out. Um, size and then size dot um, ah, my number my number dot size function um, determine nyo kung ilan yung laman ng Q natin so size and then C out front to determine niya kung ano yung front ng Q natin so my number dot front and then see out back ng Q natin madedetermine niya yung back my number dot dot back natin oh walang end line kaya natin ng end line end line end line then end line yan yung front ng Q natin is 100 And yung back natin is 400. And the size of the key is 4. So let's say magpapap tayo ng dalawang number. So my number that pop. Uh, my number 
that pop click natin ayan nagpop tayo sa front natin which is 100 and 200 and the uh, updated size ng Q natin is 2 and the uh, updated front is 300 and the back is 400 so gumagana yung standard template library na C++ SQ okay so thank you